This is a Randy Rose Les Paul Custom. It's got brass plates. It's got the full, full setup. Thing plays amazing. I, I didn't tune it. I just grabbed it out of the case. I haven't played this thing in a, since last year. Still basically in tune. <laughs> Thank you. 
Randy ever taught me. And it wasn't like that. something I'm forgetting a, a note it's an alternate picking exercise but then when you speed it up it's cool <laughs> Thank you. 
guitar do not judge this guitar by the way I'm playing today I'm, I'm sucking ass let's go out in a blaze of effects ready <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe. I'm, I'm falling down here. I'm not getting as much as I used to. So subscribe and comment. Want me to tell you a story? I'll tell you a story. Uh, you know what? I only have one amp on. Oh, I got both of them on. I'm out of my mind. So, <laughs> that's for sure. Let's see. just the Marshall. It was barely on. But with the PV and not the... Eh, but, 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 but. Okay, so. Queso, cheese. Get it? Queso is cheese. Uh, let me see. Quick story, quick story, quick story. What can I think of? What can I think of? What do you want to hear? You want to hear something about... I'm not going to tell that Blackie and Kevin one anymore because I hear uh, Blackie's actually changing his life and... and uh, trying to better himself and so was Kevin so to tell that really horrifying story I won't say anymore um something that uh, I told about again TVs thrown I'm trying to think of something else oh this is what I was thinking of the other day okay so when I had my band trick-or-treat that was in 1987 and we rehearsed from December December, January, February, 
you know, getting everything, you know, getting the drummer. I had, it was me and the bass player from my first band, me and the singer and the bass player, but the singer was actually a drummer. But I go, dude, I don't need a drummer, I need a singer. So he sung. He didn't, and we did a whole tour of, like, we played like 20, 30 shows during that summer with this guy singing. And then the band had a meeting behind my back, because it was my band, and they decided they didn't want to you know, go with this singer anymore, Rudy, because he tried to kill everybody at one point. I'm like, dude, that's just Rudy. He tried to kill me once. He's actually tried to kill me like five times. You just got to hit him in the face. He's got a, a glass chin. So anyways, he was voted out of the band, and they got this dickhead singer. All right. So I broke the band up. We did one show uh, at the Troubadour. It's just freaking packed, too. And it's on video. You can hear the guy singing. He sucks. He looks like Bon Jovi, but he sounds like a fart. Very nice guy, though. So we broke the band up. Trick or treat. We're playing. So we're down at Audible Rehearsal. This is where uh, Motley Crue used to always rehearse. This is where they kicked Vince out of the band. This is where all, all this happened. Not like what is in the movie. It was a very nice place. So there was a big room, like as big as a club. Like it was kind of looked like a troubadour almost. And it was a gigantic room where the big bands rehearsed. Anybody could rehearse there. We did when the room was available. But at this time, uh, Motley Crue was in there rehearsing uh, for Girls, Girls, Girls. It was a break in the tour. It was 87. So, Or they were getting ready to go on. Yeah, because when we, we snuck into their room, I took hundreds of pics. Sicky Nicks and all this crap from the... Uh, theater of pain to her a bunch of patches tons of that stuff and doug do not ask for any of that right now i don't know where it is so i got tons of this tons of stuff picks and stickers and and some other stuff <laughs> drumsticks and uh you know nothing too much my singer or my drummer actually went into the small room because the small room wasp was rehearsing and they had Chris Holmes and that Johnny Rod dude, Blackie, and the drummer, the guy uh, from L.A. Guns. So they're in one room rehearsing, and then Motley Crue's in the big room, and then we're in the middle room, uh, Trick or Treat. And it was just a snowstorm. Just going to the bathroom, and it was my bass player was getting most of it. Tony had it. He liked to do it. So you just go into the room, into the bathroom, and you know we told everybody. We walked in, and said, "Hey, if you want any uh, Krell, we said to Molly Crew, it's in the bathroom." And then went into Wasp. We knew Blackie. He said he didn't, but actually he was taking doing the stuff. But Chris and Johnny Rod, the bass player and the guitar player from Wasp, came into the bathroom. So it was those two guys, me, my bass player and Tommy Lee and uh, Vince Neil were all in the bathroom just doing a mountain, a mountain of white substance. They're like, man, I need beer, man. Beer. So we sent uh, Rody out, got like five cases of beer. They're like, all right, you know, just... Pfft. We didn't get anything done for two days. Motley Crue didn't get anything done. They went in there and made noise. Mick got mad and left. And Blackie, they actually kept rehearsing. I don't know how the guys did it. I mean, Chris Holmes can drink a truck of alcohol and he could still perform. But uh, the bass player, he was he was bugging out. His eyes were like, Argh! and he had these friggin' long uh, extensions, and he wasn't taking care of them. You could totally see where his hair stopped, and then his extensions. The blonde guy, Wasp. The, they were doing the circus one, that circus album. I can't remember the name. So uh, all that was happening, and we're just we're rehearsing because we're getting ready for the first show coming up in March, and we had three two shows booked, but the first one was going to be the one that was you know televised and just took off, and we were just third show we were selling out the Troubadour, and. Uh, Michelangelo, Patio, but it was just Michelangelo. He, I took my drummer down to get his extensions tightened, and my singer, Mandy Lyon, he had a whole head of fake hair, 
all the way down to here. Still does. He's been bald since he was 21. And uh, Michelangelo was down there getting his piece put on. So that's just stuff I remember from back then. So there's your story. Remember to comment and subscribe and tell people to shut the F up if they try to, you know, mess with you. Right? Right? Right. No guitar. It's off. So what did I say? Comment and subscribe. Or subscribe and then comment. I'm sick of telling you guys this. But please do it. Or I'll kill you. No, not really. No, it's a joke. All right, later, metal. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> anything. See. <laughs> All right, late. Oh, this is on. Hello. Oh, that would be.